Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the last session, I have explained the working of Tesla coil in detail. Today I'll be explaining the mathematical equation for Tesla coil. It will be really useful for design of Tesla coil in a proper manner. First one, the output voltage equation. Output voltage equation of a Tesla coil. Output voltage equation of a Tesla coil. It is denoted by V2. How to calculate output voltage of Tesla coil? V2 that is given by M V1 divided by sigma L1 L2 C1 into 1 by gamma 2 square minus gamma 1 square into cos gamma 1 T minus cos gamma 2 T. This is the output equation of Tesla coil. Now let us see what is M. M stands for mutual inductance. M stands for mutual inductance. Please note down. V1 stands for input voltage. Input voltage of a Tesla coil. Input voltage. Now I need to know what is sigma. So you can write sigma square equal to sigma square equal to 1 minus m square by l1 l2 i can simplify again that means 1 minus 1 minus k square where k is known as coefficient of coupling coefficient of coupling k is known as coefficient of coupling what is coefficient of coupling coefficient of coupling is nothing but the total number of primary flux that will be linking to secondary side for ideal case coefficient of coupling will be taken as 100 percentage that never happens but approximately we can take 90 percentage what is the equation for k k is nothing but m by root of l1 l2 m by root of l1 l2 so if I substitute over here, then what I will get? Sigma square equal to 1 minus uh, m by root of L1, L2 whole square. That means 1 minus k square. So that, that is why uh, this equation has come in this manner. Now what you can do? You can calculate from sigma square. You can calculate sigma. Sigma means square root of 1 minus k square. This can be calculated. Square root of 1 minus k square. I hope you understood how to calculate sigma. What is sigma? Then L1 and L2, L1, L2, that means primary winding, primary inductance, primary inductance, comma, secondary inductance respectively. Similarly, one more terminology is the gamma. You, you must have observed what is gamma 1 and gamma 2. There is some simple equation to calculate gamma 1 and gamma 2. So, gamma 1, 2, 1, 2 square that you can write omega 1 square plus omega 2 square divided by 2 plus or minus square root of omega 1 square plus omega 2 square divided by 2 whole square minus omega 1 square omega 2 square into 1 minus k square 1 minus k square where omega 1 comma omega 2 both are angular frequency so i can calculate omega 1 omega 1 equal to 1 by 1 by root of l1 c1 where omega 2 equal to 1 by square root of l2 c2 C2, you know, high voltage capacitor at the primary side. C2 means high, high voltage capacitor at the second side. You can use capacitance, not capacitor, capacitance. Value of capacitor will be expressed in terms of capacitance. You can say C1, C2, both are uh, capacitor at the, capacitance at the primary side, uh, secondary side, respectively. So, this is the equation. How to calculate uh, gamma 1 and gamma 2. Here, polarity you have to take care. For gamma 1, polarity, this will be positive. 
say for gamma 2, polarity will be negative. That point you please keep in your mind. And how to calculate peak value of output voltage? So I'll be writing peak amplitude. Peak amplitude. Peak amplitude. How to calculate peak amplitude? I'll be writing V2 max. V2 max that is given by V1 multiplied by E multiplied by square root of L2 upon L1. Here what is E? Where I can write where E can be calculated 2 into square root of 1 minus sigma divided by square root of 1 plus A whole square minus 4 sigma A. Now what is A? From this you can see one, one more constant that is A. L2 multiplied by C2 divided by L1 multiplied by C1. L2 C2 divided by L1 C1. So this is the way I can calculate E. Once you get the value of E, it is possible to substitute directly. Here V1 means input voltage. Definitely V1 is the input voltage. L1, comma L2. That means primary inductance. Primary inductance, comma. Secondary inductance, respectively. Primary inductance, comma. Secondary inductance. Or else you can call primary inductance and secondary inductance. So this is the way I can compute what is the maximum output voltage, peak value, because output will be uh, in this manner, right? So, we will be getting the output in this manner. Okay, damped waveform, so we will be getting output in a damped waveform. So, what is the maximum value? So, V2, V2 peak, how to calculate V2 peak? So, by using the equation, V2 peak or you can write V2 maximum, both are fine. Anything you can use, V2 peak or V2 maximum. This is the way how to calculate V2 maximum. I hope you understood uh, what is the basic design equation which will be required for designing of Tesla coil in a systematic manner. Please share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.